What is up, everybody? It is JT Sports. I am back to you guys with another video. And we have some breaking news that we have to discuss. So the Carolina Panthers are reuniting with Cam Newton. They have just agreed to terms. Cam Newton will return to Carolina. And this is really interesting, okay? Because Carolina is currently 4-5 and five right now. So they still have a very good chance of being able to turn around their season and make it to the playoffs. And... I know there's going to be a lot of people who are going to say JT Cam Newton's not going to be good enough to get Carolina to the playoffs or bring it back. Cam Newton doesn't really benefit Carolina, help out Carolina. And if you say those things, I have to strongly disagree with you, okay? Like, if you say that Cam Newton's washed up, he's not the same Cam Newton that he was back in 2015, I understand that. I'm not going to disagree with you on that. But when you look at Cam Newton, he's definitely going to provide some better quarterback play for Carolina this season than what they got out of Sam Donald this year. And for Carolina, depending on how Cam Newton performs the rest of the year, he may most likely be the starting quarterback for you next season because the quarterback market for next year doesn't really look all that promising unless you're going to give up a lot of assets to try to trade for Deshaun Watson or try to get Aaron Rodgers. But when you look at next year's draft class when it comes to rookie quarterbacks next season, doesn't really look all that promising. I'm not really all that high on Malik Willis. Malik Willis has a lot of potential, but in terms of going to Carolina, I don't really think that'd be a great fit because I think Carolina needs somebody who can win right away, not somebody who needs to take a year or two to sit back and develop. So the quarterback class for 2022 doesn't really look all that promising. The free agency quarterback class doesn't really look all that great unless you want to go out and sign my guy, Jameis Winston. So when you look at Cam Newton, I definitely feel like Cam Newton is going to provide some much needed stability at the quarterback position for Carolina. And you also got to remember this, ever since Carolina decided to part ways with Cam Newton, they haven't really had no consistency at quarterback. You saw what happened with Teddy Bridgewater last year in 2020. Yeah, he started off pretty solid, but then he kind of faltered down the stretch. He also got banged up. We don't really see PJ Walker as starter material yet. Still need a little bit more of a bigger sample size out of P.J. Walker before I can finally say, okay, P.J. Walker is a solid backup, not really starter material, so I still need to see a little bit more out of him. And then we know what Sam Donald is. We know the Sam Donald rehabilitation project has pretty much gone awry. And in the offseason, I was hoping that Sam Donald could get things back on track in Carolina. And he started out very promising his first couple of games when Carolina started out 3-0. But after that 3-0 stretch, hasn't really looked all that good. He suffered an injury. He's going to be out for the next couple of weeks. So this is a very good good move on Carolina's behalf. I know it's been a while since Cam Newton has played football. I know he got let go by New England and they decided to pick Mac Jones over him and we will never really understand the whole situation of what went down with Carolina and Cam Newton the first time they decided to split away and we would never really know what went on between the New England Patriots and Cam Newton but all we really know now is that Cam Newton is back in a Carolina Panthers this uniform and I definitely feel like he's going to bring some juice back into this Carolina team because that's what Carolina needs right now Carolina needs some juice ever since they started off 3-0 things have pretty much went downhill so I really feel like Cam Newton is going to be able to kind of turn around the Carolina Panthers season I'm not saying they're going to be a lot to make it into the playoffs but you got to remember the Carolina Panthers don't need Cam Newton to be Superman they already have a great defense. All they need Cam Newton to do is to be able to manage the game and not turn the football over. That's something that Sam Donald has had a hard time doing this year. He's had multiple games when he's had several turnovers. He's not really reading the field all that well. So with Cam Newton, they don't need him to light up the stat sheet. They don't need him to light up the scoreboard. They just need him to take care of the football and be smart with the ball. And also, they need him to manage the game. And I definitely feel like Cam Newton at this point of his career can be that game manager quarterback that Carolina needs because the defense is already phenomenal and you got to remember the defense has played very good 
despite the fact that they're on the field for so many plays because every time they get a stop they have to come right back on the field because the offense ends up coughing up the football and one thing about Cam Newton is that Cam Newton has never been a guy who has always been heavily prone to turning the football over like a guy like Sam Darnold so when I look at Cam Newton although he may not be the same Cam Newton that he was a couple of years ago I think he's still good enough right now to help Carolina try to write their season back in the right direction because they're not going to need him to do much much they have a very phenomenal defense led by brian burns jeremy chan like this carolina panthers defense in my opinion is one of the five or three best defenses in the nfl right now this year so when i look at cam new and i'm definitely happy to see him back in the carolina panthers uniform you know i kind of feel like david temper and matt rule didn't handle him in the proper way I kind of feel like he was kind of disrespected you remember when Dwayne Wade first left the Miami Heat a couple of years ago because him and Pat Riley didn't really see eye to eye like they kind of really disrespected him I feel like for the Carolina Panthers they disrespected Cam Newton like although Cam Newton may not be the same QB he was a couple of seasons back like his 2015 year like I feel like you have to give certain legends for your organization a certain amount of respect you have to build a team around him I really feel like Cam Newton never really got a fair shot when Matt Rule took over as the head coach in Carolina they tried to make it seem like he was just a big distraction he was a big locker room issue and that's not really the case man because you hear a lot of former players who have played with Cam Newton who have talked about Cam Newton haven't really heard a lot of former players speak out about Cam Newton not being a great leader or being a problem in the locker room. Never really heard any of those things from the majority of players who have spent time with Cam Newton. Even Greg Olson came on and said that, you know, Carolina handled the Caroline, the Cam Newton situation the wrong way. You know, it seems like they kind of disrespected him. And you look at what Cam Newton has done during his NFL career in Carolina. You know, he kind of built up that Carolina Panthers franchise i understand there comes a point in life when you have to cut up all you got to cut up old ties i understand that but i really feel like cam newton was a tie that carolina didn't really have to cut off i feel like when you have somebody who has paid their dues who has put their heart their sweat their tears into a franchise i feel like the least you can do is give them one season to prove themselves and that rule didn't really give cam newton that one year to prove himself in that new system everybody just came in and that rule pretty much just assumed and said that hey hey, man, Cam Newton is not going to be a fit in the offense. Like, I know from the outside looking in, from a stats perspective, you're probably going to say Cam Newton has deteriorated. His play has kind of went down. He's not going to be a good fit for the Matt Rule offense. But if you're a good football coach, it doesn't matter who you have at quarterback. What matters is being able to maximize your quarterback's talent and build the offense around what your quarterback is able to do. That's what the great coaches are able to do. And when you look at what Cam Newton did last year with the New England Patriots, like a lot of people got to forget before Cam Newton went down with COVID he was pretty solid and I believe that remember last year when New England played the Kansas City Chiefs that was a really tightly contested contest and you had Brian Hoyer and Jared Stenner going back and forth at QB like if Cam Newton would have played in that game I solely believe that the Patriots would have won that game you also got to remember that even though the Patriots didn't make it to the playoffs they still won seven games despite you know the lackluster quarterback play that Cam Newton had when he came back from COVID and he said that COVID pretty much knocked the of all of the momentum that he had built up he pretty much had to build himself back up on top of that learning a very complex system so for Matt Rule right now I feel like this is a really good move not only do you get back some stability at quarterback because Cam Newton is better than Sam Darnold and PJ Walker but on top of that you interject some juice into that locker room like you interject some life into the team right now which is something that Carolina needs right now they're kind of reeling they need something to rally them and I really feel like bringing back Cam Newton is going to rally this franchise is going to rally this team so I'm really happy to see Cam Newton back in the Carolina Panthers uniform like I've been telling people a lot of people keep saying well JT's washed up and things like that like listen you can still make it to the playoffs with Cam Newton and you look at how this Carolina Panthers team is constructed you have 
a great group of wide receivers. You got Terrence Marshall. You got DJ Moore. You got Robbie Anderson. You got Chris McCaffrey in the backfield. You have one of the best young defenses in the NFL. So, like, there are a lot of things that are set in place for Cam Newton to have success this go around in Carolina. So, you guys let me know how you guys feel about this down in the comment section down below make sure that you guys go ahead like the video subscribe to the channel for more nfl videos and content and thanks for watching